welcome my beautiful star seeds light workers light barriers soul family and friends and so welcome so before we get started with the reading i always do a mini meditation so of course i'm going to invoke my higher self innate um, the universe the holy spirit uh, of course mother gaia to be here my archangels angels fairies and last but not least my ancestors so I will do a little clearing here. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. And I will do a clearing for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm going to take two seconds here to, for all of you to feel my love towards all of you out there. I'm sending you love, light, and also, of course, my mother as well, uh, sending you healing and blessings to all of you. Remember that she will keep praying for you three times a day and on the collective as well. If there's any messages that you want to leave my mom, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below because I will read them to her uh, as, she, as at any time and chance that I have. So again, uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank you for, you know, for this beautiful spiritual journey that we've been going through together. I'm so all like so grateful for all of you here. Yes, sometimes I get tongue tied. I'm sorry, but um, you're gonna feel my heart to you. How much I love you all, and I thank all of you for being here. And let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 6th to the 12th of 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so glad to be here with you at this time to give you your reading and also I look forward to all your beautiful messages. So let's get started right away. We're going to get started with your affirmation of the week. So let's see what your affirmation of the week is. There we go. Your affirmation is balance, Leo. And your message here is, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a sense of, uh, sorry. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Again, one more time. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And so it is. Something, bringing something into balance. Now we're going to look at your animal totem to see what is your animal totem this week. What archangel is with you and what is the message that you need to hear. I hope that you're all doing well. How's it going my beautiful Leos? How are you doing? Okay, let's see what your message here is. There we go. Your animal totem is the wolf. So wolf energy, that's beautiful. And this is Archangel Zariel that's with you this week. 
And your message is be independent, Leo, but work together. Be independent, but work together. This is your message for this week. Now we're going to look at your challenge. What it is? What is your challenge this week? What is it that you need to surrender to? Okay, here we go. Surrender to divine timing. And it says here, some, sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So surrender to, the, to divine timing. Next one will be uh, your angel numbers. What are the angel numbers that will be with you for this week? And let's see the meaning behind them. All right, we're going to take a look at them together. First card you got is the 333. Three, three. I am powerful, I am powerful, I am powerful. Leo, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. So 333, three, three. that's beautiful. Sun and Master's energy. Next one you got is number 18. I am kind-hearted, I am kind-hearted, I am kind-hearted. Leo, you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. Number 18. Next one you got is number 23. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. Leo, you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. Beautiful. And next, uh, and not, uh, next uh, but not least, is number 10. And I am ingenious. I am ingenious. I am ingenious. Leo, you have the great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details. Then direct others how to carry things out. So if you do see number 333, 18, number 23, and 10, these are confirmations of your number. But there's a lot of combinations here. Maybe you could, you're going to see 1823 or 2318. Or you could see... I don't know, like three, 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 and ten at the end, or ten to three, three, three. So you will see twenty-three, ten, or ten, twenty-three, or eighteen, ten, eight, and ten, eighteen. Whatever it is, these are the combinations you have here. And when you see these combinations or these numbers this week, this will be a confirmation of your reading with me. All right. So now we're gonna get started with your reading, Leo. This reading is for Leo Sun and anywhere that you have Leo in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. Remember, it's a general read, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, claim it. And if it doesn't, that means that maybe sometimes you are not in your sun sign because you are made up of 12 signs, right, Leo? So always look at your rising. The moon is emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And of course, your North Node. The North Node is about your soul path or your purpose. So in the reading, I'm going to show you your past, your current energy, and your immediate future. I will also show you what is hidden from you and the possible outcome. And then we're going to clarify the cards. And after that, any signs that come up during your reading will be as a bonus. All right, we're going to do a bonus round with them. And then after that, I will give out I'll give out a card for your crystals, which crystals you will need for this week. You're going to get the sacred geometry card and, of course, the star seed oracle card at the end. OK, so let's see what's happening here with you, Leo.
I'm gonna take out a card to see what is hidden from you. And the possible outcome. And over underneath the deck. Okay, in the overall energy, you got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this is trying to bring something into balance in your life. So a lot of you are trying to bring something into balance. This could be also about mon monetary, it could be about finances or relationships, whatever it is for you. Uh, so yes, definitely wanting to bring something into balance that whatever you give that you're going to be receiving. In the past here, you got the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so definitely something karmic here that took place that there was many, many obstacles in it in the recent past, okay? Many obstacles, you're, you were tired, uh, extremely tired, okay? And there was a lot of conflict in the situation and something karmic took an end here. So there was two tens on the ground. Right away, there's an ending that's taking place that something got released from you, from your shoulders, okay? And, but the messages, there were still messages coming in, fast-paced messages. You still had to, you know, do a lot of things that like, the messages that were coming in, like, you said, okay, meet me here. Uh, come in, you know, there's an, an appointment here. You have to go eat this. So a lot of movement around the situation, but we're going to look deeper into it. In the current energy, you got the Empress Reverse, which is Venus Energy, the Magician, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus Libra energy here. Um, and uh, there was a missed opportunity in the current energy. So there is a missed opportunity. A lot of you are contemplating at this everything at this time. You're looking at um, like how far you've come, like maybe in your money, your finances, your relationships, your friendships, or whatever it is for you. But you tr you are trying to rise above this type of situation of feeling that you missed an opportunity here for some of you. Um, you are manifesting. There's some type of manifestation here that's taking place. In the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Seven of, the seven of Wands. This is about overcoming something that was very difficult, okay? And it shows me that, yeah, there was a lot of opposing forces against you, but you made it through. The Ace of Swords with the Page of Swords. The Ace of Swords talks about where the Divine is coming in to give you clarity. You're going to see things differently now with new eyes, okay? And there's going to be a lot of communication, creative ideas, but very sharp and focused. And there is a, with the Page of Swords, there's a new, there's, uh, the pages are all about new beginnings. So, so there's a new beginning taking place in how you're thinking about things and how you're speaking about things. This could be an online communication that's taking place, but it's here for you. In what is hidden from you, you've got the Lovers Reverse Gemini with the King of Cups upright, okay? So there was a decision that was made uh, here in maybe sometime between May and July of 2021 for some of you. Uh, this is a, an important uh, connection. I feel for some of you here, you're not in the physical together, but spiritually or intend, like telepathically, you do understand each other. And with the King of Cups, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. But this is the energy of the King of Cups. is someone that is emotionally well, is emotionally able to give you love, is able to express themselves. They're very kind-hearted and they have a lot of wisdom. And in the possible outcome, you've got the Ace of Wands, which is beautiful. This is about finding passion within you again. Because some, I feel for some of you, you lost your passion for life or lost your passion for something. And this is a passion within you and all around you in your life. So now we're going to start. Um, we're going to... Um, clarify the cards for you all right so let's see what's going on here okay let's see what's going on here we're going to look at the overall energy with the six of pentacles in the overall So in the okay, so you got judgment reversed, the ace of pentacles reversed. So I guess they're showing me a storyline here of what took place and why that you are um, bringing something into balance. Some of you were giving too much and not receiving enough in a situation. 
um again here yes in the past here showed me that uh, something was off balance okay so you did get the six of pentacles reversed in your clarification so definitely something was off, off i was off balance here uh with the ace of pentacles reversed and judgment there was some type of judgment that took place here um something was lopsided uh, you weren't receiving what was yours okay now feel free to swap the energies around if this is not about you and with the ace of pentacles reversed it's like a missed opportunity that took place or something here that was not stable enough or something that did not come in and uh with the devil reversed capricorn energy uh because it could be also saturn as the planet saturn here or this could be if you were dealing with a capricorn energy here there is some type of breakthrough that took place it's freedom in a situation and uh so someone here has been working and trying to put something uh coming back into balance here because like they showed me the six of pentacles right but with the queen of cups and i have the king of cups i do see two energies here that there is love there's nurturing there's one that's very motherly here very nurturing very loving energy okay wanting to share their love wanting to express themselves both emotionally available here so something is definitely shifted in the overall energy now we're going to look at the past okay so let's look at the past together you got the eight of wands the ten of wands reversed and the ten of swords upright so what is this all about the eight of swords the ten of wands you got the eight of pentacles the moon The Ten of Cups reversed, the Nine of Swords reversed, Justice reversed, I got Libra Energy, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Definitely something that took you by surprise in the past for some of you. You did not, you didn't know that this particular situation that you were in was an ending of something karmic that took place for you in the recent past. Okay, um, what I'm being shown is that there was a lot of fears around the situation, Neptune and Pisces. There was a secret around the situation, like you didn't see it coming, all right? Uh, this was maybe uh, with the Ten of Cups reversed. This could be a relationship that um, went through something very difficult here. An ending took place karmically. But I still see that in the past there was messages, passionate messages still coming in. But there was a lot of fear-based energy. And I do see someone here working very hard on something here with the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of energy was put into this, Leo. Maybe you put a lot of energies into this. Uh, you lost a lot of sleep over this, okay? But definitely here with Justice reversed, the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands reversed, there was sorrow, loss, okay? Uh, heartbreak that took place here. And that uh, something was off balance completely. There could have been lies also. And it, something was not in divine timing to come together as the Ten of Cups in the way that you wanted to as a new beginning. Now let's look at the current energies you got the empress reversed the magician and the seven of pentacles so let's look at this why is the empress reversed here with the magician and the seven of pentacles okay so you got the seven of cups the knight of wands reversed the seven of wands you have a lot of sevens on the ground you have three sevens up to now the sun reversed And the two of cups there's a there's still a strong connection here between two people it doesn't matter what it is for you there's still a strong strong connection here okay uh but there was a missed opportunity for sure maybe this could have been a partnership in business it could have been a friend it could have been a lover it could have been your soulmate it could have been your girlfriend your boyfriend wife husband whatever it is you're there I, I just feel that the connection is very strong because some of you are twin soulmates in, that are here okay or this could be a soulmate energy the emperor reversed the knight of pentacles reversed okay i just wanted to see what was happening in the current energy for all of you so uh for the empress reversed the magician and the seven of pentacles here like i said there was a missed opportunity you're trying to manifest higher you're trying to raise a, uh, your energy ab uh, above all the situation that took place here uh, you are a crossroads in this situation <clears throat> There's a lot of options and you could dream big. Yes, dream big, Leo. But make sure you stay connected to the earth. You know, it's okay to dream big, but don't get confused in what you truly want here. This situation, <clears throat> I feel, is that you already overcame it. But something is not in divine timing. Okay, it's not yet in divine timing. 
And the thing is, is that there has been a lot of disappointment in this situation for you. Sadness, disappointment that took place, okay? Um, a lot of like um, negative energies in a sense and emotions that took place in the situation. I do, I do see someone here, definitely here, someone that is working on themselves. I do see someone that's very independent from you. And, but at this time, I don't feel with the Knight of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles that someone is coming through. Okay, no one's taking action here at this time. Okay, and no one is planning forward. Okay, someone's not coming in in the way that you want to. Um, with the Emperor reversed Aries energy, um, the commitment is not at, for some of you, whatever this is, if this is a, about a commitment, it's not stable at this time. But the connection of, like, you do have... So, like I said, there is a very divine connection here between two people, but the commitment is not here in the way that you want. So some of you have to set strong boundaries here and someone here needs to surrender because there's been something that's been very stagnant and some of you are at crossroads in this. Okay, you're thinking about it, okay? You're thinking whether this is about your business, your money, whatever, the, or this is about love, okay? Uh, so someone here needs to surrender. There's a surrendering situation that has to take place. But again, with the Two of Cups here, it shows me that there is a strong connection. So now let's look at the immediate future. In the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So let's look at this together. Why is the Ace of Swords here, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Wands? you got this Eight of Wands energy, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is Jupiter energy with the Wheel of Fortune, but it's reversed. Okay, so that means that there's a delay. The Queen of Wands reversed. The Six of Swords reversed. The, uh, the Hermit reversed. The Four of Cups reversed and the King of Pentacles. So what it is, is that there's someone here that you're dealing with, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be this. It could be about a business opposition, opportunity here. Or this is of someone that you're dealing with, whether this is you or them. I still see messages coming in because it shows me that there's a lot of passionate and clear and new ways of communicating. So I do see the messages coming in here for you. Okay, but, okay, uh, there's someone here that's coming out of the dark night of the soul. Okay. But they're still in not in the state of mind. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius Lee or Aries. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the sign, okay? Uh, but what what matters is that someone here is not in their element yet. Uh, someone is still repressing emotions. Uh, they're not feeling their passion. They're not feeling. They're not feeling anything at this time. Okay? There's like some type of numbness, is what I feel. There's acceptance of what took place or rejections or something that, that had to be accepted. Someone here with the Six of Swords reversed and the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups reversed. And someone here is not able to move or relocate and they're stuck in the situation here. So the Wheel of Fortune is in delay, okay, for the second chances to take place. But Spirit says that you're going to overcome this. Now let's look at what's hidden from you. Let's look at what's hidden from you. Oh, yes. And you got the King of Pentacles. So you're going to overcome this. So there's going to be some type of stability, success here, or victory. The king and queen of their castle. This could be about money or a relationship. But someone will come out of it. Whoever it is, if this is you, Leo, or not. Someone is going to be coming out of it, okay? And what is hidden from you? you got the lovers reversed with the king of cups upright. So let's look at this. Lovers reversed. Why is the lovers reversed here? you got the four of wands. And why is the King of Cups here? The world. The Six of Cups. The Nine of Cups reversed. The Fool. Okay, definitely here, there is a new beginning taking place here for you. There's a wish fulfillment that will be taking place, even though at this time in what's hidden, there's still nostalgic memories of the past that you're carrying. What I like about this is that with the four of wands energy in the world, you're coming in complete circle. There's an ending and new beginning taking place. Okay. And with the four of wands it talks about a found a strong foundation. It talks about um, some type of proposal, maybe a, a special event taking place in the home. And yes, it is a wish fulfillment. 
uh, a lot of it brings uh, you uh, brings you a lot of nostalgic memories of the past but there is a new portal that's taking place there's an opening here for you so yes there's a new opening so there's a door a doorway that's taking place that's divine is saying well there's a new beginning for you if you like to take it let's look at the ace of wands in the possible future you got the ten of wands okay too many cards here hold on so you got the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, Eleven, the Five of Cups reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed. The Page of Swords reversed. The Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands twice the magician definitely here someone's feeling left out abandoned ghosted feeling that they're lacking of something or maybe lost some money for others of you it's a feeling that someone's carrying this with them with this other five here 55 is that someone here is releasing this someone here found the silver lining someone here healed and came full circle and there is a gain coming in financially but it's also some type of closure that you will need leo you need this closure some of you need a closure definitely here and there could be also a reconciliation but it's not in divine timing all right uh, but what they're showing me here is definitely there's a lot of passion between two people or this could be two people of course but there's a lot of passion with the ace of wands energy passion within you and all around you uh there's an ending you're, there's a lot of obstacles in this it's taking time you're close to home you're close to the ending of your journey or the shift that you need to take uh, and the completion that you need and the 10 becomes a one so something will be lifted at this time i see that with the knight okay of swords reversed and a 10 of swords uh, this can be uh, about the fruit of life or money or some type of stability in your life okay you're not getting the message right now someone's not coming in right now someone here is not able to think and feel they're, they're not able to think uh, clearly about a situation not be able to communicate okay um but i do see that someone here is moving forward with their dreams with the two of wands reversed and with the magician here it just shows me that you are manifesting and you're trying your best to raise your frequency and think positive and manifest your dreams come true okay and underneath the deck i got the king of wands energy sagittarius leo aries uh, this just tells me that someone here, doesn't matter the sign, someone here is going to go after what they want. That's what it is, the, with determination, with passion. And if this isn't a relationship that you're dealing with, this is a very good, uh, the King of Wands is one of the, well, not one of the best ones, but they're able to balance the energies in the relationship, in business, in everything. But if it's about a relationship, there is someone here that's going for what they want. All right, so this is your reading. And now we're going to look at which signs came through your reading. Together. It's going to take me a second to take out the cards. You got Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, that's it, those are your signs, so let's look at them, okay, put this here, so you got one, two, three, you got seven of the signs that came through your reading for this week, Leo, and now we're going to do heart to heart, soul to soul. This could be about anybody in your life, okay? So this is the bonus round. This could be about anybody in life. It doesn't have to be specifically about love. It could be also about someone that's departed. Um, you know, uh, someone here that is uh, crossed over, I mean. And um, it could be about a friend or someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. It could also be about your children. It could be about your husband, your wife. It could be about anything, okay? Acquaintance. It could be about a boss. Whatever it is here. 
employee, a co-worker, whatever it is. Okay, so let's look at this. This is about heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul. Because sometimes people have a hard time being vulnerable with each other, right? Because they're scared or they're, they're afraid of rejection. So with these cards, it's about someone that's talking to you heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul. All right? Okay, Leo. Let's look at this. Leo, if you're dealing with a Gemini, so Leo, if you're dealing with a Gemini here, let me just put my glasses on. You were so unexpected. At this time, they're wishy-washy. If I had only known then what I know now, and they're feeling guilt. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Leo, a Virgo. I'm trying to figure things out. I miss you more than you know. I, I am still moved by you. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo. Someone here is repressing emotions. I am choosing you. Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you are hard to forget. It's a, This is a secret that you're carrying, Leo. There's a secret here. I don't want to let you down. Wait for me. If you're dealing with a Libra. I regret how I handled things before. I just want to go back in time. They have good intentions and I can't stop thinking about you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Leo. They're indecisive at this time. I can't, I can't walk away, they're saying. I don't want to miss my chance with you. You are the only one that gets me. And they're feeling kind of distant or cold. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Leo. There's resentment here. I, I want to talk to you. But they're controlling at the same time. I won't let you go. One more card. I am sending you telepathic messages. So these are your, this is your bonus round. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's look into your crystals of the week. We'll take out one more. Oops. Let's see if there's one more. There we go. You got two crystals, Leo, and let's look at them together. The first one you got is opal or opal, depending how you say it, opal or opal. And this is the appearance of this crystals is transparent, milky, or in, in this in the scent. In white, black, blue, yellow, brown, red, green, orange, purple, or pink. So they come in different, many different colors, right? Okay, so in the healing, it aids in psychic ability and visions. It promotes creativity and self-expression. It amplifies all feelings and thoughts. It teaches that what you put out is returned. Enhances seduction, love, desire, and passion. And can bring fickleness and scattered energy. Okay, so uh, with the chakra, well, it varies. It depends on the color. So amplifies the power of manifestation. It connects with sexual and primarial energy. Helps to overcome emotional wounds and brings fidelity, loyalty, and spontaneity. And supports out-of-body experiences. Opal is your first crystal. And the next one you got is diamond. Mm -hmm. I hear wedding bells. And Okay, anyway. So the appearance is clear, white, yellow, blue, brown, pink, transparent when cut, and milky, raw. And the healing uh, pro 
property of this is it removes blockages, stress, and impurities, stabilizes wisdom, purity, and enlightenment, increases personal power for good or bad, purifies the body and the aura, enhances and brings love and attracts and manifests wealth. And this is associated with the crown and third eye, the diamond. Okay, so it also cleanses the aura, re-energizes the aura and chakras, brings you to your soul's purpose and promotes wisdom and enlightenment. So diamond and opal are, opal are the two crystals that you will be needing this week. Underneath the video, you will see uh, two websites that I have there with my name on it. You get a percentage off. And uh, there's and if you're looking for something specific and you don't see that on see it on their um, on their website, all you need to do is write to them and they will accommodate you. Okay. So now let's look at the sacred geometry. What is your card today, Leo? all right let's look at the card together you got number 34 which equals to a seven and it's about clarity stay focused stay clear and focused so we're going to take a look at this together number 34 right so your affirmation for this card is the clouds of confusion clear the star lights my way the clouds of confusion clear and the star lights my way this card is here to remind you that it is important that you stay clear and focused on what you need don't let others judgment affect you or put you off what needs to be done clear perception allows you to become aware comprehend and decide the right way of understanding and interpreting situations the practical application of this card is when you're feeling overwhelmed and foggy take time out to reflect and clear your mind Close your eyes and focus on the stars. So if you would like to take a picture, take a screenshot of this. Here you go. Okay, and you can use this when you meditate or when you're feeling like overwhelmed and foggy. Take time out to reflect and clear your mind. Close your eyes and focus on the star in this card or place it on your third eye. So you can also place it like this on your third eye, okay? Allow your intuition to step up by engaging your third eye and opening it to allow your inner wisdom and knowing to help bring about the clarity needed if necessary spend five to ten minutes every day focusing on this area using the crystal suggested on your bra brow to strengthen your intent so that it clearer and more decisive decisions can be put into action in your everyday life so the crystals that you will need for this is sodalite sodalite apophyllite herkimer diamond and selenite okay so i'm going to repeat it one more time sodalite Apophiliite, Herkimer Diamond, and Selenite. And this is your card. Beautiful. Now we're going to look at your Star Seed Oracle to see what is the message here for you, Leo. What do the Star Seeds want to tell you? You got the love you got the love leo and it means it's a uh, hardinian energy codependency and boundaries it's time to put up boundaries you got the love leo you are love you got the love beautiful so leo if someone out there could put a timestamp on my reading would be amazing i forgot to ask that at the beginning of the reading if you can you know, from the singing bowl to the oracle cards to the tarot cards to the bonus and whatever else I have. Uh, it would be great to appreciate it. But if you don't have time, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. So, Leo, uh, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, we are love. But also remember, we are one. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.